Welcome to Bangkok Airport. It is you see the time. 3.53. Stop in a good night. We have um, slept in Bangkok Airport. We um, are flying to Bali early this morning and it just made sense to sleep here. And oh my goodness, they can't actually believe how busy the airport has been. I've never been in an airport that's, I mean, I've only ever like been in an airport once overnight. It just was relentless. It was so noisy and so busy. And like, you can probably hear now. Steven's had no trouble sleeping. I think I fell asleep at like 11. And kind of slept through on and off, like waking up a little bit, but just like not really waking up. Um, to like half two. So I've had like three and a half hours of sleep, which is not bad. Steven is sleep there but uh, I think I'm gonna have to wake him up now because we're gonna have to go and uh, drop our bags off and everything because yeah it's like four o'clock maybe I'll give him another part of his sleep I think it's a bit of a shame to wake him up and we're only sort of like just gonna go through to the other side there's no real reason maybe I'll give him another half an hour or so Stephen Okay, we're on the move. This one's semi-awake. Yeah, semi-awake. We're gonna go and dump our bags. It's like kind of late, really, but yeah, it's almost like it's 4:35. We fly at quarter past six, so it's quite late, I suppose, to be here uh, doing this. But I just, like I said, I just wanted to leave him sleeping kind of for as long as possible. We're always as far away as possible, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> we're on like. It's number one and two. We have to go and dump our bags, and we were like at the very far side. The queues for Air Asia do not look good. Not what happened with us at this time in the morning. Yeah, the queues are huge. Maybe we should have got up earlier. <laughs> okay, we got to kind of skip most of the queue because we're leaving like pretty soon. So that was good. All done. Go check the gate. Yeah. So gate 15. Okay. All through security, all done. It's like 18 minutes past five, so it's less than an hour till we fly. So I think we're just gonna head over to the gate, really. And you're like, you don't want any. Oh, can you see for the water fountain? I think the flight to Bali is about four hours, four hours, 15 minutes, as to like kind of rings the bell. This is us. Oh, is it like security or just, oh, it's just checking. We're boarding. We're going to catch, hopefully, a nice sunrise from the plane. We might be a little bit too late. Oh, yeah. There's no use in looking back. I'm so over the past And I'm living it fast International Airport, Denpasar, Bali, Indonesia. The local time now is 20 minutes past 11. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We've arrived. Welcome to Bali. It looks nice out there. We'll see if the airport is open. We've never been here before. A new it seems like a long time since we've been to a new country, isn't it? It's kind of very empty, she so just said, look, it's big and empty and there's just no one around anywhere, hardly. Waiting for the bags, Stephen's going to get a trolley. I never normally let him 
well, not let him, I just feel like it's kind of a pointless thing to get a trolley, but we're gonna get one. He's made up. With through immigration, so we get, as a UK passport holder, we get 30 days as a visa exemption. You don't have to pay or anything. So I wasn't sure, because when I was reading, I wasn't sure whether we had to pay $35 uh, entry, but that's if you want to stay uh, longer than 30 days. So no, no cost, all good. <laughs> now I see why he wants a trolley, because he wants to sit on it and get pushed along. <laughs> Right, first job we need to do is get a sign. Get a SIM card. Get a sign. Oh yeah, we make a sign for Nana and Lara. That's a good idea. Or oh, if we had like pens and everything and like we could make a big huge banner, that'd be awesome. Just getting a SIM. Flying higher than the stars. We'll be dancing till the dawn. The night is young, so I wish. So close your eyes and set it free. dropped off it was a nightmare at the airport with the uh, with the taxis so many taxi people in the end we went with bluebird which is um it's like an uber grab thing that's available in bali but we looked online before uh, before we came and it says it should have cost about like 45 um what's it called ring ring guy or something to get to kuta and i went to the airport like official booking place and it quoted me 200,000. So I was like, there's no way I'm paying 200,000. So, whoa, yeah, there's loads of kites in the sky. But yeah, there's no way I'm paying 200,000. So I was like registered on the Bluebird app. And it was like, and I paid 40,000 from the airport to Kusa. So we're just making like the short walk to the, um, to the place. This is our place. Kusa Townhouses, they're staying there tomorrow night. But for now, we've just got a cheap place just down the road. This is us for tonight. Is this reception? Oh yeah. You're gonna sit what? On the hands. <laughs> we checked in toilet our place, the guy's so nice, could took his name is. Um, he's given us a nicer room. We paid seven pounds, I think, for this room for one night, which is a bargain. He says normally you get a smaller room upstairs. But um, I'll give you a little tour of what he's given us. So out there is like the courtyard, I'll show you later. We have like a little outdoor seating area here. And then two beds. It's nice, isn't it? And then I think this is like an open. Yes, it is an open shower. Well, you can see the kites. Look, come and see, Stephen. It's an open shower, and you can, it's an open shower. You can see the kites. Oh yeah. Having a bit of a dilemma because. I want to explore, I'm very excited, I like being in a new place, so I want to explore, I'm very hungry, I haven't eaten anything yet today and it's about half past one, something like that, um, and what else do I want to do? Explore, eat, oh and sleep because I'm shattered because I've had about an hour's sleep, I don't know what's going to win out, Stephen thinks eat is going to win out, eating is going to win, eat, eat, Stephen thinks eat, sleep and not explore. <laughs> Misery guts. <gasps> oh, look, I'm a millionaire. I got a million rupai. Yeah, a million rupai, which is something like 50 quid or something, is it? It's nothing, I don't know. <laughs> and just sorted my money out because last time we changed countries, I was carrying around the other country's money in my purse for like most of the time we were there. So I'm just um, taking all the Thai bar out, exchanging it for Indonesian rupai. This is the little um, like courtyard that I was showing you before. We're gonna head out now. Grab something to eat. I forgot to vlog. Yeah. I forgot to vlog, but we've just had some food. Stephen is like starving. I think he's gonna eat so much. I don't even know. We're gonna head down. The beach is just in front of us here. We're gonna have a little look at the beach. See what that's like. Oh, we've got to cross this busy road to get to the beach. Oh, we didn't get, we should have got changed, I don't know why we didn't. We haven't got our swim stuff on. Well, like Hello. 
Would you like to serve? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the beach. Wow. We should have got our swim stuff on. We go back and get our swim stuff on. Okay, we're gonna get it back and get our swim stuff on. He's quit. He doesn't want to come go back to the beach now. Come on. He's so tired. We're gonna have like half an hour in the sea. Or an hour in the sea. And then we'll just have a wandering home change and we're heading back to the beach i forgot my sunglasses there i've left them back at home oops i hope it's nice i hope it's nice i'm sure it will be right we're going to the sea i'm not going to go close so we'll see you when we're back out of the sea it's hours later we had a nice play in the sea and we're back home i'm just gonna go have a shower in our nice little open air shower here Kite. Oh, the kites are still out there. I wonder what that's all about, the kites. And then I think I'm going to probably just have an evening. I spoke to my sister before. They're all organised. I think they're travelling. So it's Sunday evening here. It's Sunday morning back in England. They're travelling down to London this afternoon and getting their flight and everything. And we're meeting them at the airport tomorrow. I'm actually really excited now about it. You know, like if you've been watching, I've been going through like... What's the word? Like ups and downs. So if I'm excited about them coming out, but... Now it's kind of imminent. I'm very excited about them coming. I'm really looking forward to seeing them. But I think for the rest of the evening, I am just going to probably do some editing and yeah, not really doing much. So I'm going to end it here. So thank you so much for watching. Today, uh, tomorrow, we are checking out, moving into our other place that we're staying for two weeks with my mum and sister. We'll see you in the morning. Good night.